that y'all decided to check out my video on how to uh, repair how I repair my soft plastic we've all had this happen to us most likely if you've been out there and fished very much and where they won't stay up on the hook they rip all the way out and so you just throw it away so you throw away you know 60 70 cents well you know when it was 10 cents a piece I didn't mind doing it but now that there's nothing wrong with this bait it's it could be used again so I got to thinking I said you know what I used to pour these rascals and uh, I know that they could be melted back down so I thought about this here little cheap soldering iron and I thought I'd come up with something that was brand new and that was gonna be I was gonna make a video that no one else ever has done so I got all my lures together and I you know that were tore up and I made a little video a little while back and then I said you know I'm gonna I'm gonna check on YouTube before I post it act like I'm coming up with some brand new ideal well I see there's other people that are putting out stuff like this so you know I'm not trying to say I'm the only one who knows how to do this or that I'm the first one to come up with it although I thought of it before I saw their video but anyway it doesn't matter who come up with it I'm not trying to steal their thunder but you may not have thought about it and you might not have run across theirs and you know it's just so easy it's it's something that you know anybody can do that has a soldering iron or I seen one guy had a he just used a cigarette lighter and, and, and heated it up and melted this in back and just as long as it'll keep it back up on that jig head is all it really has to do but uh, I kind of like that cigarette lighter you'd have a hard time getting all this without getting your fingers but you know with this thing you just give it a little bit of heat and squeeze her together for a second or two and that is all there is to it and uh, you know you need to be in a ventilated area I know the smoke has probably looked like it's coming in my face but it because of my camera up above me but it's not I'm out in my RV I didn't want to do this in the house and smoke the house up so yeah I had a uh, <laughs> and them old fish don't care if it looks a little raggedy that's just like they, they always pick the weakest of the herd anyway they don't want something pretty they want something that's a little ragged that swims a little crooked and everything you know I used to think well if I didn't hook hook my bait on there just right where it's it swam that perfect little way that it wasn't gonna work well the more I fish the more I learned that you know sometime hooking a bait on that swims a little erratic is what they're gonna be looking for so don't worry about all that just just go do it but be careful you're working with hot stuff and you don't want to burn yourself so and uh, like I say about the ventilation but yeah I mean when these rascals were 10 cents a piece I'd throw them away but now that they're 60 70 cents a piece and you go through several a day if you get in them little trout so well now this one really raggedy I don't know I may not and this is this is a one I don't really use this uh, bass or it's saltwater assassin chicken on a chain because they're so soft I mean they are so soft now <clears throat> that's why I went to these um, down south lures they're poor they have a little hardener in their their material and they don't tear up as easy so that's you pay a little bit more but you can it does a lot better so well guys that's just what I wanted to tell y'all and you know I hope y'all liked it and you know in case it, you didn't run across nobody's video like this I mean it's it really I, I don't believe in just throwing money away my daddy used to tell me that it was a saying that a rich man told him but it was a self-made rich man 
And he told my dad, he said, you know, don't worry about the dollars. You take care of your nickels and your dimes and the dollars will come to you. And my daddy passed that on to me and now I'm telling it to y'all guys. Don't, don't worry about your dollars, but if you take care of your nickels and dimes, you know, the dollars will come. So, all right, guys, I will uh, just thank y'all for tuning in. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and we will see you next time.